Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri and I'm a software engineer and today I want to talk about OrgDaughter, an Emacs package that we've been working on. Uh, OrgDaughter is used to make notes in PDFs or EPUBs and these notes are kept in regular OrgVote files uh, for you to do or whatever you want to do with OrgVote files. Uh, when would you use this package? Well, if you read a lot of stuff and you want to retain more information uh, about things that you read, this this might be a good package for you. Uh, let's let's jump in and I can show you a couple of features of this package. So I'm just going to open up. Uh, so I open up a PDF and then I'll start a org note session. So we have our notes on the right here and the document on the left. So let's start reading. Let's go to chapter one. Where is it? All right. So first thing I want to show you is how to take a highlight. Uh, we call it a precise note. Um, so I selected the text I was interested in. I hit meta eye and then um, the note appeared on the right here. So actually, I don't want I don't want this heading. Um, well, this is a very so this is a very famous opening line. That's what I want to remember from this. So it, it was highlighted and uh, here it is in your uh, org file. But actually, now that I think about it, i um, curious about what this previous section was, uh, extracts. I don't really want a highlight or anything, so I just want to insert uh, what's what we're calling a simple note. So our noter insert a note uh, with no questions. So there it is, um, notes for page 13, I guess. Um, but that's not what I was interested in. I was actually curious what this extracts is. Um, so I'm just gonna make a note to do what is the extracts chapter? We revisit it later. Okay, so we're done with that. I actually want to go back to my previous uh, note, chapter one, and we have a shortcut for that as well. Um, so it's org noter, sync current note, and we're back to um, back to where we were. So let's keep on reading. Uh, and now we come to a chapter that has two columns and uh, for that we have a mode as well so it's called uh, org noter pdf set columns and we can specify at the bottom here you see that there are two columns and that's where the first column ends so what that does is we can now highlight things and uh, let's say besides through New Bedford and it got highlighted and inserted here. But let's say we want to now go back um, and select something else, quitting the good, uh, I don't know where Manhattan is, um, but let's highlight it too. What is that? You'll notice that uh, the highlights are now in order. Um, the first highlight that we made is at the bottom and the second one is at the top. Um, so that's, that's kind of it for um, the fundamentals of what um, our order does. Uh, myself and Peter took over the org noter development um, earlier this month actually and there's a new release on melpa uh, originally uh, org noter was started in 2018 but hasn't been maintained since 2020 uh, that's why we decided to step in and maintain it and uh, the code uh, and the updated documentation is on uh, github uh, the link will be below Thanks. Thanks for watching.